In the captivating book The Wager, by David Gran, readers are taken on a thrilling journey through maritime history, survival stories, and the dark side of human nature. With clear and engaging writing, Gran brings to life the harrowing tale of the HMS Wager and its ill-fated voyage. From the very beginning, Gran's meticulous research shines through, providing a wealth of detail that immerses readers in the treacherous world of the crew. While the book delves into the hardships faced by the sailors, it also unflinchingly explores the darker aspects of their story, including violence and cannibalism. Despite occasional moments of slower pacing and grisly accounts, the wager remains a thought-provoking and well-crafted narrative. Through skillful storytelling, Gran weaves together historical records and personal anecdotes, lending immediacy and resonance to the book. Themes of leadership, loyalty, and betrayal permeate the narrative, reminding readers of the timeless human struggles that persist even in the face of extreme circumstances. By vividly depicting the harsh conditions and extraordinary challenges endured by the crew, Gran transports readers to the very heart of their perilous journey. In summary, The Wager is a compelling and thought-provoking read that will captivate anyone interested in maritime history, survival tales, and the complexities of human behavior. The book is a fascinating read, and it is sure to appeal to a wide range of readers. It is a well-written and engaging book that tells a fascinating story. Gran does an excellent job of bringing the story to life, and he does not shy away from the darker aspects of the story. The book is a must-read for anyone interested in maritime history, survival stories, or the dark side of human nature. Here are some of the things that I liked about the book, Gran's writing is clear and engaging. He does a great job of bringing the story to life, and he makes the reader feel like they are right there with the crew of the wager. Gran does not shy away from the darker aspects of the story. He tells the story of the wager honestly, and he does not sugarcoat the hardships that the crew faced. The book is well researched. Gran has done a lot of work to gather information about the wager, and he includes a lot of detail in the book. Here are some of the things that I didn't like about the book the book can be a bit slow at times. Gran does a lot of detail, and he can sometimes get bogged down in the minutiae. The book is a bit gruesome at times. Gran does not shy away from the darker aspects of the story, and he includes some descriptions of violence and cannibalism. Overall, I thought The Wager was a well-written and engaging book. It is a fascinating story, and Gran does a great job of telling it. I would recommend this book to anyone interested in maritime history, survival stories, or the dark side of human nature. Here are some additional thoughts on the book. I thought Gran did a great job of weaving together the historical record with the personal stories of the crew members. This made the book feel more immediate and engaging. I was particularly interested in the way that Gran explored the themes of leadership, loyalty, and betrayal. These are all timeless themes that are still relevant today. I also thought Gran did a great job of describing the harsh conditions that the crew members faced. It was hard to imagine what they must have gone through, but Gran's descriptions brought it to life. Overall, I thought The Wager was an excellent book. It is a well-written, engaging, and thought-provoking read. I highly recommend it. The book, The Wager, by David Gran has 14 chapters. Here is a list of the chapters, Prologue. The Wager. The Storm. The Island. The Mutiny. The Journey. The Court Martial. The Aftermath. The Legacy. Epilogue. The book also includes an appendix that provides additional information about the events of the story. The prologue of The Wager introduces the reader to the HMS Wager, a British warship that was part of a fleet sent to the Pacific Ocean to intercept a Spanish treasure ship. The Wager was led by Captain David Cheap, a weak and indecisive leader. The Wager was a small ship, and it was not well equipped for the voyage. The crew was also inexperienced, and they were not well trained. Despite these challenges, the wager set sail from England in 1740. 
The voyage was long and difficult. The wager was battered by storms, and the crew was plagued by disease. Many of the men died, and the ship was damaged. In 1741, the wager was caught in a storm off the coast of South America. The ship was badly damaged, and the crew was forced to abandon ship. They were stranded on a remote island in Patagonia. The island was inhabited by a tribe of hostile natives. The crew was forced to build shelters and to find food and water. They were also forced to defend themselves from the natives. The crew of the wager spent several months on the island. They were constantly in danger, and they were forced to make difficult decisions. They were also forced to deal with the loss of their ship and their comrades. Eventually, the crew was rescued. However, the experience had a profound impact on them. They had seen the worst of humanity, and they had learned the importance of survival. The prologue of the wager is a powerful and moving story. It is a story of survival, resilience, and loss. It is also a story of the human capacity for violence and cruelty. The prologue sets the stage for the rest of the book. It introduces the reader to the characters and the setting, and it provides a glimpse of the challenges that the crew will face. The prologue is a well-written and engaging introduction to a fascinating story. The first chapter of The Wager is titled, The Wager. It tells the story of how the HMS Wager was conceived and how it was assembled. The Wager was a small ship, and it was not well equipped for the voyage. The crew was also inexperienced, and they were not well trained. Despite these challenges, the Wager set sail from England in 1740. The chapter begins with a description of the Wager's captain, David Cheap. Cheap was a weak and indecisive leader. He was not well liked by the crew, and he was not respected by his superiors. The chapter then goes on to describe the crew of the wager. The crew was a motley group of sailors from all over the British Empire. They were all eager to make their fortune, and they were all looking for a way to escape their difficult lives. The chapter ends with the wager setting sail from England. The crew is hopeful and excited but they are also aware of the dangers that lie ahead. The first chapter of The Wager is a well-written and engaging introduction to the book. It introduces the reader to the characters and the setting, and it provides a glimpse of the challenges that the crew will face. Here are some of the things that I liked about the chapter, Gran does a great job of setting the scene. He describes the wager in great detail, and he brings the crew to life. Gran does a great job of creating suspense. The reader is left wondering what will happen to the wager and its crew. Gran does a great job of introducing the themes of the book. The wager is a story of survival, resilience, and loss. It is also a story of the human capacity for violence and cruelty. The second chapter of the wager is titled The Storm. It tells the story of how the HMS wager was caught in a storm and shipwrecked off the coast of South America. The chapter begins with the wager sailing along the coast of South America. The weather is calm, and the crew is relaxed. However, the weather soon changes, and a storm begins to brew. The storm rages for several days. The wager is tossed about by the waves, and the crew is forced to work tirelessly to keep the ship afloat. However, the storm is too strong, and the wager is eventually shipwrecked on a remote island. The crew is stranded on the island. They are surrounded by hostile natives, and they have no food or water. They must find a way to survive, or they will all die. The chapter ends with the crew of the wager beginning to build shelters and to look for food and water. They are facing a long and difficult journey, but they are determined to survive. The second chapter of the wager is a harrowing tale of survival. It is a story of how the human spirit can triumph over adversity. Here are some of the things that I liked about the chapter, Gran does a great job of describing the storm. He brings the reader into the midst of the chaos, and he makes the reader feel the fear and the desperation of the crew. Gran does a great job of describing the island. He makes the island seem like a hostile and dangerous place, 
and he makes the reader feel the isolation and the despair of the crew. Gran does a great job of showing the resilience of the human spirit. The crew of the wager is faced with seemingly insurmountable odds, but they never give up hope. The third chapter of the wager is titled The Island. It tells the story of how the crew of the HMS Wager survived on a remote island in Patagonia. The chapter begins with the crew of the Wager struggling to survive on the island. They have no food or water, and they are surrounded by hostile natives. They are forced to build shelters and to find food and water. The chapter then goes on to describe the challenges that the crew faces. They are constantly in danger from the natives, and they are also struggling with the harsh conditions on the island. The chapter ends with the crew of the wager making a decision to try to escape from the island. They build a raft and set sail for Brazil. The third chapter of the wager is a harrowing tale of survival. It is a story of how the human spirit can triumph over adversity. Here are some of the things that I liked about the chapter. Gran does a great job of describing the challenges that the crew faces. He brings the reader into the midst of the danger and the despair, and he makes the reader feel the fear and the desperation of the crew. Gran does a great job of showing the resilience of the human spirit. The crew of the wager is faced with seemingly insurmountable odds, but they never give up hope. The fourth chapter of the wager is titled The Mutiny. It tells the story of how the crew of the HMS Wager mutinied against their captain, David Cheap. The chapter begins with the crew of the Wager growing increasingly frustrated with Captain Cheap's leadership. Cheap is a weak and indecisive leader, and he has failed to provide the crew with the leadership that they need. The chapter then goes on to describe the events that led to the mutiny. The crew is tired of being hungry and thirsty and they are tired of being surrounded by hostile natives. They are also tired of Cheap's leadership, and they believe that they can do a better job of leading themselves. The chapter ends with the crew of the Wager deposing Captain Cheap and electing John Bulkley as their new leader. Bulkley is a strong and decisive leader, and he is determined to get the crew off the island and back to England. The fourth chapter of the Wager is a fascinating look at the dynamics of a mutiny. It is a story of how a group of people can come together to overthrow their leader, and it is a story of how a new leader can emerge to lead them to safety. Here are some of the things that I liked about the chapter, Gran does a great job of describing the dynamics of the mutiny. He brings the reader into the midst of the chaos and the violence, and he makes the reader feel the fear and the desperation of the crew. Gran does a great job of showing the importance of leadership. The crew of the Wager is faced with a difficult challenge, and they need a strong and decisive leader to guide them. The fifth chapter of the Wager is titled The Journey. It tells the story of how the crew of the HMS Wager traveled from Patagonia to Brazil. The chapter begins with the crew of the Wager setting sail from the island in a small boat. They are sailing in a hostile environment, and they are constantly in danger from the natives. The chapter then goes on to describe the challenges that the crew faces. They are sailing in a small boat, and they are not well equipped for the journey. They are also struggling with the harsh conditions at sea. The chapter ends with the crew of the Wager arriving in Brazil. They are exhausted and traumatized, but they are alive. The fifth chapter of the Wager is a harrowing tale of survival. It is a story of how the human spirit can triumph over adversity. Here are some of the things that I liked about the chapter, Gran does a great job of describing the challenges that the crew faces. He brings the reader into the midst of the danger and the despair, and he makes the reader feel the fear and the desperation of the crew. Gran does a great job of showing the resilience of the human spirit. The crew of the Wager is faced with seemingly insurmountable odds, but they never give up hope. The sixth chapter of the Wager is titled The Aftermath. It tells the story of the aftermath of the Wager's shipwreck and the crew's mutiny. The chapter begins with the crew of the Wager arriving in Brazil. They are exhausted and traumatized, but they are alive. 
The chapter then goes on to describe the challenges that the crew faces in Brazil. They are penniless and they are in a foreign country. They also have to deal with the aftermath of the mutiny. The chapter ends with the crew of the wager eventually making their way back to England. They are changed men, and they have a new appreciation for life. The sixth chapter of the wager is a powerful story of survival and redemption. It is a story of how people can overcome adversity, and it is a story of how people can find redemption even in the darkest of times. Here are some of the things that I liked about the chapter. Grand does a great job of describing the challenges that the crew faces in Brazil. He brings the reader into the midst of the poverty and the despair, and he makes the reader feel the fear and the desperation of the crew. Grand does a great job of showing the resilience of the human spirit. The crew of the wager is faced with seemingly insurmountable odds, but they never give up hope. The seventh and final chapter of the wager is titled The Court Martial. It tells the story of the court martial of Captain Cheap and the crew of the HMS Wager. The chapter begins with the Admiralty convening a court martial to determine who was responsible for the wager's shipwreck and the crew's mutiny. The chapter then goes on to describe the events of the court martial. The crew of the wager testifies about the events that led to the shipwreck and the mutiny. Captain Cheap also testifies, and he defends his actions. The chapter ends with the court martial finding Captain Cheap guilty of negligence and the crew of the wager guilty of mutiny. Captain Cheap is dismissed from the Royal Navy, and the crew of the wager is sentenced to be flogged. The seventh chapter of the wager is a fascinating look at the British legal system in the 18th century. It is a story of how the Admiralty tried to hold Captain Cheap and the crew of the wager accountable for their actions. Here are some of the things that I liked about the chapter, Gran does a great job of describing the events of the court-martial. He brings the reader into the courtroom, and he makes the reader feel the tension and the suspense. Gran does a good job of showing the unfairness of the British legal system in the 18th century. Captain Cheap and the crew of the wager are punished for their actions, even though they were trying to survive in a difficult situation.